Good morning, you guys. God bless you. I pray that you're having a wonderful day. I just wanted to get on here and encourage you guys. If you can make it to that Red River meeting revival, I'm telling you, that board family and that ministry, Wildfire Ministries, they are passionate. They be fiery. And Jesus is there. Jesus is there. So if you are hurting and you are broken, or even if you just want an encounter with Jesus Christ, I want to encourage you to please make it to that Red River Meeting House revival. It is amazing. God bless you, Marla, my sissy. I love you. God keep you. May he shine his face upon you. So I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all, we need to be there. Jesus is there. He is walking the aisles. He is there. So if you guys can make it to Red River Meeting House, Red River Meeting House, um, there is full on revival there. Full on revival. If you all can make it there, full on revival. Christ is walking up and down the aisles. Christ is touching people there. People are being healed, set free, and loved on. It is fabulous. The Lord is there, and He is there in a mighty way. Nobody's getting shunned or thrown under the bus, because Jesus be there. And I am telling you guys, if you want an encounter with Jesus Christ, you gotta, you gotta come on in, come on down, and come see Him. Everyone there is so beautiful. The ministry team is so full of Jesus. You guys will be blessed. You all will be blessed in Jesus' name. If you can make it, if you can't make it, look for the lives. That's okay. If you can't make it, look for the live feeds because the Lord is there. He is there. So God bless you all in Jesus' name. Please continue to pray for this revival so people get supernatural encounters from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We just bless you all in Jesus' name. You know, I just want to encourage you guys to really hone in and build up in that most high faith by seeking the face of God every day. Enter into his presence with worship and praise on your lips and walk away from what makes you bitter so you can get better because Jesus loves you. He loves you. He wants you. He doesn't want you sitting in a muck. He doesn't want you sitting in a self-pity. He wants you glorifying his holy name and set free by the power of the blood of Jesus. He doesn't want you distracted. He wants you attracted to his face alone. He's a jealous God and we he doesn't want us wasting our time looking at garbage. He doesn't want us wasting our time looking at what the enemy is doing. He wants you set free by his blood, by his trueness, by his wholeness, and he is holy. Dear Heavenly Father, we just bless you for Delphina and her daughter Patricia in Jesus' name. We lift them up to you, Lord God. We thank you for them, Lord God. We bless you for them, Lord God. We thank you. We speak life over them in Jesus' mighty name wholeness, and we speak the hunger of God, Lord. We speak that you pour your hunger into these, into Patricia, Lord God. We also speak that you, we speak life over Patricia, Lord God. We cancel any attacks of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name, and we glorify you, Lord God, for breathing a newness into her in Jesus' name. Brand new things, Lord God, into all of us. We are dead to our past and new in you and in your truth and in your spirit. We thank you, Lord God, that love overcomes a multitude of sins and teaching us and aligning us to walk in this love the way you designed us to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. We just give you praise, Lord God, and we bless you all in Jesus' name. Share this so people know where to go to grow because Jesus is there. Share this so people know where to go to grow because we need to walk away from these ministries that don't love you. Yeah, because Jesus loves you. They're going to correct you. You got to be ready to be corrected because we all need corrected. I need corrected more than anybody, and, but they're going to love you. We need to walk away from these ministries that aren't loving on us, right? Because Jesus is love and love overcomes a multitude of sins. And we got to overcome by the power of the blood. 
and not settle. Not settle. No more time for distractions. We got to get right in the Lord Jesus Christ. We got to get blessed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 And we got to be centered in him right now. We don't have time for these distractions. Don't let people pull you to the left or to the right. You seek the face of God alone and the Lord will lift you up. He will humble you. And I'm going to tell you, the hardest battle in my life was the breakthrough from religion into sonship. It's painful. It's raw, it's exposing, and it's real. But it's also the most beautiful thing that will ever happen to you. Because the glory of the Lord is within us. And our flesh has to die to be able to live in Him. And we have to be willing to want it to die because we don't want no sin in our life. Sin is yuck. Sin is yuck. It makes us feel terrible. It makes us ugly on the inside. It makes us bitter. We need to get set free in Jesus name because sin is not for us. It's just yuck. And so God bless you all. I pray and hope that I see you there. And if I don't, I pray that the Lord gives you a supernatural encounter right where you're at. I pray he makes you so hungry that you can do nothing but minister to somebody else today. Like you pick up the phone and just make a phone call and bless them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, because we have no time for anything else. It's time for Jesus, 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 nothing else. Jesus, 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 nothing else. We don't have time to complain. We don't have time to be deranged. We don't have time for anything but Jesus Christ because we got to be healed and set free and tell people how glorious and wonderful our God is because people are hurting right now, you guys. People are hurting. And if you're hurting, the Lord sees you. He loves you. Keep going. Keep going. I just want to encourage you to keep going because when you get your breakthrough, just keep your head in the word. Keep seeking his face. Keep going. If you are broken, reach out to somebody that loves you and will pray with you. Keep going because Jesus, what Jesus gave me, he has for all of you. He has for everybody. Jesus is free, a free gift. It's good news in the Bible, not bad condemning news. The Bible is good news. Jesus is good news because by grace, we are saved. By seeking his face, we are saved. And by running to the arms of the Father, instead of running into people and condemning them and making messes out of our flesh, that's the only way. It's the only way. Jesus, 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 he's the only way. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, I pray this blessed you. Please share, because people need to be at this Red River Revival. I am telling you, the Lord is walking the aisles. You will be touched by Jesus Christ there. Absolutely. There are people there that love, and they love for reals. They'll give you hugs. They'll tell you you're not alone, because you're not. Jesus is with you. He's in you, and he loves you. He's here right now. So God bless you. Keep going. Run to his arms. Hallelujah. Father God, we cancel those attacks of anxiety and we thank you for separating them as far as the east is from the west. And we tell the enemy to bow out now. Lord rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus name. And we speak life unto her and we speak life into this family and we speak wholeness because the Bible doesn't say thou shalt not fear. 365 times for no reason. We have no fear because where the Lord is, there is freedom. Hallelujah. Where the Lord is, there is freedom, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for that freedom. We thank you for pouring out freedom of fear and anxiety, freedom of all of these things in Jesus' mighty name. We repent for falling into them. We repent for all unholy things, all unholy acts, known and unknown, Lord God. And we thank you for breathing your revival unto this country, Lord God, and setting captives free, Lord God. We have no time, Lord God. So open our hearts and prepare us for your feast, Lord God, because we love you and we worship you. It is only you, Jesus Christ. It is only you, Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you're doing. Bless my brethren in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Love you. Bye.